Hello, my name is Matthew Kay. And I'm Joshua Hanlon. And we're here at Brick World 2014 to give you a little bit of a tour of the event. So we're going to start off with the Northern Illinois LEGO Train Club layout. Mm -hmm. Yes, so we'll be taking you on a, a tour of the entire convention floor here. So you'll see everything, everything that's everything. here it's for all the attendees to see. So we want to give you an in-depth look at what a convention is like. Starting right here with the Northern Illinois LEGO Train Club. You obviously have the track going around the entire thing, it's and then elevated train track. You know, we're talking heavy rail. We're talking in the air. We're talking crazy. <laughs> yes, yeah, so a very impressive display here from the, the Northern Illinois Lego Train Club, bringing it oh, on the down. Ghostbuster here. set. That's very original and creative. I like that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, the the trains. You obviously have a lot of uh, skyscraper type buildings on these displays. A big white building, a big white building with windows that uh, are blacked out. That's interesting. Not really, but interesting. <laughs> Moving along here, some more dark buildings. Green. Dark red. We're going to point out a lot of colors. A lot of very interesting colors at these conventions. Here's the train yard. A little train yard going on there. Yeah, very nice train yard. This is where a lot of the train builders will display their, their trains as they're working on them. Moving down here, we have a whole Simpsons layout. Really cool this Simpsons This is by builder Matt Delanois, right? Yes. Springfield, uh, Springfield, Illinois? Is that where we're going to go with? Springfield, USA. Springfield, yeah. Springfield, USA. So, very cool. You can see a lot of the, the famous Simpsons landmarks here. Now, one thing to take note is, look at, look at his uh, Simpsons house. It's very different than the original, or not the original, but the kit version of the Simpsons house, right? Mm -hmm. So, he has, uh, the roof is notably different, and we have a lot of differences. But I, I suppose it's more accurate? It looks, uh, looks yes, good Yes, yeah. I think he, he definitely was going for accurate you're seeing a lot of these things so I think you did a great job with that the Springfield tire fire back there the quickie mart fantastic and I believe we have uh, what is this from um, uh, that's the arrested development yes, vehicle arrested yes development vehicle very nice he has a little arrested development set going on there mm -hmm. too awesome awesome TV references moving down here some more skyscrapers obviously uh, some impressive buildings there a little bit of a wind farm. Uh, this is a theater concert. here. Okay, concert. Theater, concert theater venue. And then de keep going down here. We've got some more. Uh, this is a builder by uh, named Chris Rozak, who has a lot of these awesome guitars. You've got uh, some mosaics from him. There's a, a space balls build actually. So a whole whole all different themes he has here. Really cool stuff. And then the blues mobile. Here's a very awesome Pulp, Pulp Fiction, Fiction mosaic. mosaic. It's kind of like pressed out. You know, you see that trans clear and it's kind of... So it's not a mosaic in a traditional sense. It's more of like a relief, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a, a different kind of mosaic versus most of the kind you see at a convention. So it's, it's very impressive, though, the way they did that. Just using a lot of the trans clear tie, uh, plates. Oh, look, some vignettes. Some, yeah, some smaller vignettes here. Look, some mosaics over here. And then here we kind of start a whole line of mosaics by a, a few different builders. Some really cool, there's some uh, some Marvel ones there. Uh, we Can Do It, a nominated for Best Artwork. We this is really, it. really impressive build. Based on the, the old poster. And then here's the uh, Sistine Chapel uh, recreation. A really interesting mosaic, the way they did that, kind of sloping it. And yeah, it not, I don't know if you can get the camera up there, but look, look and see. It's like it's, it's not a mosaic in the most traditional sense. It's kind of got this big backing to it, you know, because all the pieces are angled. Isn't that, that's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. My goodness. So quite, quite the build there. <laughs> yeah. Very impressive. Some more smaller mosaics along here. There's uh, Grumpy Cat. <laughs> Funny, cool little build. Uh, Minion from Despicable Me, and then a uh, cool little chapel there as well. And then moving moving on along here, we've got uh, another train layout here. This is this is just the trains going here. So you'll see a that's lot of. That's not Lego track, is it? That's not Lego track. No, that's not actually. So he has the Le Lego uh, trains going on non-Lego track there. So this is like a, a bigger scale than, mm -hmm. uh, I guess this would be what, mini line scale trains almost, I'm not sure. Close to it. Uh, he has some minifigs on it, but yeah, this is definitely much bigger scale than, than a lot of the other ones. Up here we've got the, the K-Lug display that's uh, r really, really neat. Um, the K-Lug always comes out with an awesome display at these conventions. Here's uh, a beach scene and just all different kinds of stuff coming down here. Really cool details in all their scenes. Uh, a lot of custom buildings here in their city layouts. 
all of sets, uh, a little bit of sets. You know, we got some in Grand Emporium, we got some Town Hall, Palace Cinema, all the good ones. You'll notice that a lot of the city builders do that. They'll kind of mix in sets with their mocks and their city displays and a too. Lot of these are, are modified sets. It's worth mm-hmm. noting. Look at that Palace Cinema, for instance. You come down here, you look at the. It, it's been extended. It's been uh, kind of modified ridiculously. Uh, beautiful. Uh, modification they got going there. Yes, yeah, they did a great job, you know, adding on to that, taking a couple different sets and doing interesting things with it. Some more Kalix stuff here. Looks like you got some weapons, a few minifigs. It's the Baker Street Stables build. Then a spaceship here. You got a little, I believe this build here usually has a uh, screen going in it with music, actually, so it's it's not going right now, but that's usually what you'll have there with some lights and stuff. There's bumper desks, and I believe those actually move with magnets, so it's like the desks are bumping into each other. Very impressive. Now this is the Apollo 8 rocket. It's uh, it's very large. You can see for scale, there's my hand, there's a rocket. I'm not going to touch it because that would be bad. Um, but we're looking on second to look down here. This is a light. And I spoke to the builder during the, the tour of lights or the world of lights uh, that just happened earlier. And uh, he told me that uh, he was m- intending to light it up like it was the night uh, before it took off. So uh, that's pretty awesome that he's trying to, not only did he build it, but he's also trying to light it up to make it look like the real thing. Very, very, very cool. Oh, yeah, definitely. And this is such an impressive build. He's actually been bringing this for a few years now to Brickworld, and he adds uh, stuff every year. Uh, this year he's got the tower, he's got the this spaceships, the rocket there. And new this year actually is the uh, bottom part that can actually move now. So the entire thing can move. It moves very slowly because it's heavy, but uh, it, it can move. So that's a very impressive build there. Then moving on the, the K-Lug display, you've got the uh, Robbie house here. Another very impressive large-scale build. Very large uh, Frank Lloyd Wright design mm-hmm. home near the University of Chicago in, uh, you know, Chicago. Yes, no, I so it's in, it. in Chicago here, so that's a really cool build yeah, to have here. One, one thing fantastic about this build that I think is worth noting is that you look at the roof and you see the variation in color. And, and that is because of, you know, dark red, not exactly the same part, every part you get, but, you know, a real terracotta roof would look like that. So, for once, Lego actually is making the, the build look more realistic because of the imperfections in the production. You gotta love it, right? Definitely. Sometimes that works to your advantage. You, you never know. Now, along here we've got uh, Brick Valley. Coming back down the other side of the K-Lug display, here's a Kenosha Harbor. That is, uh, K-Lug is Kenosha Lego Users Group. So a here's very the... nice snot. Look at that snot lighthouse. That's, mm-hmm. that's sweet. I, I like that. That is one of the better looking Lego lighthouses I've seen here, so it's really impressive stuff. Along here, we've got a really cool, uh, is that a trolley track, that I believe? It is a trolley track, yeah. and I believe it's modeled on the trolley that actually does operate in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Mm-hmm. So this is kind of their hometown. You know, they wanted to do a little bit of a shout-out, so this is it. Um, and now take a moment, John, uh, to, to look, at, look at the trolley track there. Look at the curve. See how beautifully done that is. He's ballasted the whole, the whole uh, track, you know. That curve is a very well-articulated build. For sure. So you, awesome way he did the track here. And then you've got, obviously, a lot of city buildings, a lot of custom builds here. There's Frank's Diner, a uh, little Lego store, actually. Uh, this is the, the trolley town. You've got trolley dogs moving along here. There's a, a little uh, Doctor Who build, some Batman stuff, some Star Wars. They just kind of mix in some, some funny things here and there throughout it. Coming along here, we've got an Apple store right With an there. old Apple logo. Look at that. That's retro, man. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Some more interesting buildings, some diners, that type of thing. Little park, and uh, actually over here is a really amazing uh, corn maze. Can that... you say alt bricks? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So those those uh, corn pieces are made by alt bricks. He's got all different cool details, like the ballpark in there, different minifigs doing stuff. So very nice. That ends the trolley part of it, and then here is their carnival scene that is actually part or their their amusement park that is the theme this year at Brick World is the uh, candy sweet escapes so it's all about the the carnival and that kind of thing so you can see the haunted house section of the amusement park here is uh, bumper cars that actually move as well when that's going there's little magnets in there that move them this right here uh, takes you goes around and around flipping you around and then some more of your traditional rides like a carousel and a ferris wheel back there's the atomic fireball flings them out as they go. 
this purple and green one here now it's not running right now but when it is it goes very very fast it looks like the type of ride that would not be very fun to do if you get sick easily <laughs> not at all <laughs> so very impressive though still the way they've worked in these builds got some some go around there this tower build is actually very cool because it up and down. goes and up, up and, and down, down and up and uh, and down again and then yes. up and then back down it's <laughs> and very, very cool. it goes all the way to the top slowly but then once it hits the very top it just drops it down straight down very, very so yeah. it's a very interesting ride to watch now, as i it hope goes. you've noticed uh, as we've been walking the length of this display all of the old monorail track you know you don't see that every day so a uh, very very i'm not going to say display of wealth but uh, a display of fine fine old lego parts you've mm -hmm. got to love it for sure and moving down here, we finish up with the uh, K-Lug display, come back down this side of the uh, this train display that we looked at a little bit before. It doesn't have a lot of trains on this side, this is mostly just the track here, the trains are all on the other side right now. <laughs> Coming up here we have one of my favorite builds at Brickworld this year is the uh, cathedral of St. Francis of Assisi right now, here. This is an interesting build because you would think it's modeled after a real cathedral uh, although as far as I know this is more of a model of uh, it's kind of like out of the creator's imagination. Now this was made by Tony Sava so uh, it, it looks a lot like the cathedral of I believe it's pronounced Chartres, France but uh, it, it just kind of looks like a lot of cathedrals but, uh, but a very 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 beautiful build. A uh, fantastically detailed interior and I believe he's closed it because the world of lights just happened and he wanted to have the interior lit so but uh, just look at look at take a moment to appreciate the stained glass you know you have a, a very very well thought out very well conceived build uh, uh, definitely a, a landmark uh, uh, you know Lego creation oh yeah that's what, the stained glass is always impressive in these types of builds that really makes it with the different designs they do and then obviously the architecture is just spot on as well there and moving on down here we've got a few uh, big rigs some vehicles here some interesting trucks and things like that and a few small uh, vignette style buildings there's a, a mud skipper, then the uh, Edmund Fitzgerald in the back there, actually. It's always a cool build to see boats like that. Now, I know we're not supposed to touch Lego creations, but I think I might take the liberty to do that now. Um, see the brushes, this whole paint set going on right now, this is just fantastic. I think let's take a moment to appreciate this brush. Look at, the, look at that, you know? It's a, it's a minifigure broom. Doesn't that make a perfect, perfect brush tip? It's uh, fantastic. You know? That really does. Shout out to Mark Hendricks, I believe, is the builder of that. Uh, very, very impressive. So very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Wanted to show that to you guys. Here's here's some more by Mark. So we move down here. The uh, Blue Fig Group actually has a whole lot of. You can see the lights all hanging there. When it was the World of Lights was going, this was all lit up, and the music was coming here and everything. So. Another really impressive build when, when the lights are on. Down here we've got some cool logos. The Coca-Cola logo all made out of one by one red studs. And uh, Curly W, Griffin Mosaic, a few more mosaics types. This is a Lego Batman mosaic that is really impressive. The way they did this with the, the different colors. And all it's one very by interesting. One. They've, they've used uh, very standard colors. How they've, they've obscured them with one by one trans clear, uh, uh, what would that be, plates. Mm -hmm. So you have a, a very normal color palette. However, it looks a lot different when you cover it up with uh, you know, one by one trans clear plates. Very, very nice. Definitely, yeah. It's in, it's interesting every year at these conventions to see the different kinds of mosaics that are brought. There's there's so many different ways to do a, a mosaic, and they're all very impressive. But it's 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 always cool to see those. Moving down here, we have Matt Delanoy, another build from him. Uh, ship here, some some cool stuff there. Some more from Matt here. This is the bomb battlefield. Uh, some awesome little builds there. The Phantom of the Opera. Oh yeah, right here's the Phantom of the Opera. So you got the chandelier, everything going on the there. I think that, that chandelier glows in the dark, I believe. Those those horns coming down. So now uh, we at the Beyond the Brick are not too familiar with the Phantom of the Opera, right, uh, Josh? Uh, <laughs> uh, and sadly, we aren't. So uh, if we were so more familiar with, might we could be able tell to tell you, you what's it, going on here. But we, we can tell you that this build is looking pretty sharp. Yes, the build is still very impressive, regardless. And then. Moving on down here, we got Ivy Valentine, Historical Museum here, some, uh, some more really cool stuff. 
Then up here we have the rest of the, uh, the Northern Illinois Lego Train Club. This is the other side of it. You can see obviously some more train track that goes all the way around. But then a lot of cool custom buildings, great great houses here that they've worked on. A very nice Metro station, oh, yeah. and Metro is the commuter rail system of uh, Chicago and the suburbs, mm-hmm. so uh, very well rendered. This is like, a, I guess we could say, a corrugated steel roof, and I feel like we talked about this last year because this was here last year, but uh, I think it's worth mentioning again, a, a fantastic build. Definitely, yeah. You always see so much, so many little details that are hard to pick up on on these large train displays, but uh, a lot of great stuff within them. You can, the Shell Station, really impressive. That's yes, instantly it's 319 right now at the <laughs> Shell Station and uh, the Northern Little Train Club layout. If we could only have gas that price in the real world. Yes, I'd be, uh, I'd be headed to that station right now. <laughs> Moving on, we got a little bridge here that goes across to the other part of the layout. A custom brick and minifig billboard. I like how they put that on top of the buildings. That's a little nice detail. Moving down here, we got a, uh, this is a Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Yes. Got the whole nice Ghostbusters build there. Then here's the other side of the uh, train yard that we were showing you earlier. Now we're going to take a moment, look at look at the Norfolk Southern uh, train engines. Now this is a club from the Midwest, and I do believe that Norfolk Southern has operations in the Midwest, but uh, this is a, I, I'm uh, from Raleigh, North Carolina, as I'm sure you well know. Uh, this is a very, very big train line in that area. So to see this here, it's, uh, it's very beautiful. This is uh, majestic, you know, all black, white logo, got to love it. I just noticed, I think they have candies in the, as part of the theme at Brickworld, they have different kinds of candies and mints in the, in the train cars there, so that's a, a nice little detail they added in. And then, keep on moving down on the, the train club layout, some more really cool buildings here. Now it looks like it, something interesting in the back there, just kind of the front of the buildings versus actually putting the entire building there, these kind of the, the facades almost. And that's those. really all you need, right? Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, yeah, you don't always necessarily need the entire building there. That still looks very impressive. We've got another bridge that leads to the, the final part here. We've got the train uh, boxes all stacked there. And Intermodal shipping containers, yes. you got to love it. <laughs> Here's a Area 51 build, so this screen has different clips from uh, movies going and things like that, and then you've got all different famous vehicles, Homer Carr from The Simpsons, the James Bond, Little Nelly, Indiana Jones Roadster, all different stuff like that. And this is all by Brian Williams, uh, yes. a very, very talented builder. Extremely good builder. So, move around here, you've got the, the hangar gate in Area 51, some Indiana Jones builds as well. And then one of another one of my favorites here, if you're a fan of this TV show Hogan's Heroes, as I am, this is very, very impressive. He's built a lot of the uh, rooms and scenes from Hogan's Heroes that you'll recognize if, you, if you've seen a few of those episodes. So very, very cool build. Or not a massive build, but he's packed a lot of detail in it that makes it very Certainly. impressive. Certainly, and I think the one thing that stands out about all of his builds are the cutaways. You know, when you remove the back wall, you're allowed to see inside, and then if you fill the inside with a, a scene that is uh, relevant to the build, uh, it really does bring it to life. So, this build is uh, it's very, very interesting. You know, how he's filled the interiors with uh, all these figures doing fantastic things. Mm-hmm. Really great work there. And then... We'll move on back this way, back over here to, uh, real quick, we got one more building to point out to you uh, on this Now, display. these are prairie-style homes. So, uh, Chicago is very famous for its, uh, you know, very famous architect, Frank Lloyd Wright. You know, it's all about Frank Lloyd Wright. Um, these are, you know, little, very nice renditions. And I'm assuming that they're modeled after prairie-style homes, but they're not specific models of prairie-style home. Um, that, you know, you, the, one of the most... Uh, I guess signature facts of the prairie style is that it has a, a very uh, tapering roof, you know, that, that kind of, uh, like, a low angle. And this is just a fantastic rendition of that. So these are two beautiful prairie style homes. And that's on, the type of... Uh, the Northern Little Lego Train mm-hmm. Club, which is Chicago's, I guess you could say, uh, home train club, maybe? Yes, yeah. So that's the type of thing you see on a lot of those types of train layouts, is you know, those types of builds. Very impressive. Beautiful, beautiful. Coming along here, the first thing we have here is actually a BrickLink build contest that took place this year at Brick world for the first time here at brick world and there was a certain amount of parts i think it was 75 and builders were just given those parts and you could build anything you wanted and then they were judged they chose three winners so there were a lot of awesome entries that came through that matthew you actually participated in that right? oh of course i showed up early and i finished <laughs> as early as i could definitely so matthew had a cool build in there some more some micro scale builds coming through here 
Looks like these a couple of builders have their... I don't their... think they want us to see what they've built, so we're going to continue on. We'll continue past those builds there and come up. We've got some... We're going to continue on past these builds as well. Awesome spaceships so... for you up here. These are always really incredible. This is done by a, a builder named Peter Mowry, and he has uh, been here for Brickworld for several years. All He brings some incredible spaceships, and he actually uh, combined with a builder, Tim Clark, to build some of these as well. And really, really cool stuff here. So you can see the, the two massive spaceships in the back, two large ones in the front as well. Very, if, you're, if you're a space fan, these are definitely, especially this back right one, the, just so incredibly massive. So much detail he packed into that. Definitely one of my favorite. It's actually nominated for Best Spacecraft here at Brickworld. So moving along here is a, a really impressive castle build. And this is, you might remember this, I think we showed this last year as well on the tour. This has been here for a few years. He The builder keeps adding to it and making it bigger and better every year. And now this is something that would really take uh, probably 24 hours and six cameras to actually capture everything that is going on here. But uh, we'll try and uh, give you a little bit of a glimpse. Definitely. Yeah. Some of these builds are so massive, it's hard to show every detail but uh, we do our best. So here's kind of the part in front of the castle. You've got a little village going on, the roads throughout the village. You can see some of the, the plants and things going on farming. Here's the bridge, leads over the moat, and then you get to the actual, the actual castle portion. Outer wall, and keep following the road here. There's a, a fancy house, so you get that really nice walkway in there. Some cool tree work he's done. Here's a little more of the, the crowded village. A little village. bit of a crowded village, yeah. yeah, yeah. Lots of interesting roof lines you got going on here, you know, using these inverted uh, slopes. Very, very cool stuff. You definitely get to get the medieval feel from the crowded streets and things. Here we have a, a large joust scene going on next. So you've got soldiers practicing jousting, some cool custom tents that I, I really like. Moving on here, we've got a little tower here, kind of a, a watch area for the more official joust scene where it's not practicing, this is the extra competitions. And then a few more buildings here, kind of another crowded street, like I was saying, definitely gets the medieval feel. Before you reach the main castle portion, so here's the, the really impressive castle. And one other thing is the very cool waterfall as well that he has going there for the moat around this section of the castle. But yes, he has the, you don't see a lot of the, the walls that aren't uh, just straight like this, so he has to actually put it at angles to Very make difficult it. to do angles mm -hmm. in Lego, yes. Definitely. And so that's about the end of this display. He has a, he has a harbor over here with a, a very nice ship, uh, some cool trebuchet there. Very impressive. So that's what that's one of one of the best castle displays here today at Brickworld. Moving along here, we've got small uh, train layout again here. Little uh, train. Well, this is the West Chicago 1912 train station is what that is. So I think that was based off of the real building. As you could look down in there, you can see the minifigs he's included and in everything. Grain silo in the background. Yes, grain silo. Grain, the you can see the grain, grain silo right grain there. Silo the back. It's really great as well. Over here we have another super impressive mosaic, one that, uh, this was built by Sharon Vance and she has brought uh, really cool mosaics for the last year or two here. And this is actually, I believe, a scene from The Hobbit it would be with the uh, dragon smog and then you see all the treasure and everywhere there. So a really, really cool build there. I love how she does the 3D effects with uh, so some stuff is she brings way out, some stuff is just like one or two studs. She does, she, the mosaic pops out at mm -hmm. you. It's Definitely. Kind of awesome. And I, I believe, is this all pearl white gold, Josh? I it might be. I think she, she definitely has interesting colors that you don't see a lot in, a, in very many mosaics or many builds overall. Goodness gracious. Moving along here, we'll <laughs> bring you to do this end here. You can see a, a little bit of a, a Middle Earth build over there. And then keep moving here. Some some smaller builds here. A few four by four dump truck and builds like that. Here's a few builds. Actually, Matthew built these right here. So factory, gas station, things like that. And then up here is another super impressive castle build. A few a few castle builds actually. This is uh, nominated for best mega creation and just a really, really great castle based on the, the real life one here. 
Yeah, and you can see the builder has packed so many details into it, from the rock work to the the castle walls, the castle roof, the the towers that he's done, and uh, the the correct minifigs and everything there. Uh, Definitely another one of the the most impressive castle builds here. I believe that the castle builder said this is his 146th castle build. He's been building castle for over 20 years now. So you you can see where that talent comes from. And then moving on down here. So much white brick. <laughs> yes, that's true. There's a lot of white brick in that build. <laughs> the Arc de Triomphe uh, there. I'm sure I pronounced that completely wrong, but we'll ignore that for now. <laughs> <laughs> and just uh, enjoy the, the incredible build there as well. So, and then the Lincoln Memorial, all built by the same builder here. Very impressive builds. Now for the next build, we're going to have to get my face in it. Very nice. <laughs> Let's continue. This is a Star Wars display, a lot of Star Wars sets there. Moving along the back here, we actually have an, an, nice. an interesting train layout that uh, was set up here by family. And this here is actually a little competition that they have you do a little puzzle where you have to line up the train cars with the correct color. And they, they have a little timer there and they time you and you can try that out. So I know I've seen people trying that out throughout the day. It was a fun thing to do. Coming through here, we have a nomination for Best Sea Vessel for the USS Missouri. And this is another really impressive build. You can see a lot of the detail he has going on in there. The, the guns, the, the way the ship is built, all the, all the little details you would expect from a build like this. So well, well worth the nomination there. And then down here we have some, uh, this is the Michigan Lego Train Club here, and then also the, the Michigan Lego Users Group. This a series of builds from them right here. It's the Rapunzel's Tower, surrounded by the mountains and everything. Very nice variegated foliage, by the way. I mean, you have, this is obviously fall, I guess, right? Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I think they, they captured that foliage perfectly. Here's, along here is more of the train layout, so they've got the, the track all around. The different buildings. There's another Lego store. That's a popular build to put on train layouts. And then here's built by Scott Thompson is a massive build there, actually based on a building in, in Michigan. Detroit, right? Yes, yeah. in Detroit. So it's uh, it's perhaps a little bit out of scale with the town layout as a whole, but uh, you know it, it's a fantastic build, beautifully, exquisitely detailed. Just uh, just just. Comp- Completely massive. I don't know if it's hard to... You can see this on video, but you can't really internalize, I'm sure, through whatever screen you're watching this through, how massive this is. It, it is just ridiculous. It is very large, and I know Scott has built several buildings of that size, so uh, the talent he has there is really great for, for those large buildings like that. Moving along here, we've got... Uh, right here is a Lego movie build, so if you're familiar with the kind of the, the logo and everything that was used in the Lego movie... Uh, really, really cool build there. Getting that. Here's Benny the Spaceman as well from the Lego movie. Few uh, candy themed builds. There's a candy machine, things like that. Then we move into a few spaceships. Over here, some, some really great military builds as well. You can see boats, planes, helicopters. There's a, that one, the Raptor right there is nominated for best airship. So, whole set of really impressive builds there. Here's an interesting display, kind of different than, than most of them here uh, in the way it's laid out. And uh, this is kind of a graffiti wall with uh, the kids sitting around here. And you can see they, they actually build on a much larger scale. So the way they, they were able to do that was, was really impressive. And the graffiti wall looks really great, almost a mosaic style build there as well. Coming back over here is the... Another small train layout. We've got a few trains here. Joe's Brick Depot, kind of the front of a building there. A little Halloween-themed carousel. Back over here. This is obviously some builds, due to time restraints, can't all be finished. So this build here wasn't completely finished, but you can see the, the makings of a great build in it. Some cool minifigs. This is the HMS Nancy the Battle of the Nataswaga River, I believe that's how that's pronounced, and so you can, he, Builder got it somewhat set up here for Brickworld. And then uh, another 
little bit of uh, kind of a city layout here, I guess you'd say. There's some some impressive. I believe those now are those very impressive skyscraper. Is this the skyscrapers, skyscraper collaborative? Project? I believe that is. Yeah. This is the first year they've done this at Brickworld. This is kind of a uh, standard that they did for the skyscraper collaboration here at Brickworld, and then you could decorate the inside however you wanted. So that turned out really nicely, I think. You can see a few of the custom buildings around here, sports arenas, theaters, things like that. Moving down here, we've got a uh, Lego Brewery, actually. The builder who does this actually has a, a Lego Brewery, so he built that there. You can see a few of the details. And Very nice train. Oh, look at that arch. You know, mm -hmm. you know, this is an arch that's not done. You know, this is no snot. This is no. This is just a pure brick arch, and it, it is a very beautiful arch. Definitely, yeah. Very, very well done arches there. The whole, the whole bridge looks great. As you move along here, you can see he's got different kinds of trains on it as well. Then this is a build that's nominated for best mechanical here at Brick World. This is a monster amusement park ride. And this all runs, there's the really awesome lights on it, and then it turns around and all the cars move. So one of the, definitely following the theme again of this year's Brick World, but one of the more impressive, you know, uh, Technic type builds here. A really, really cool build. Then Sir. down here we have one that's, that's kind of the exact opposite of that type of build. This is the Parthenon, so you've got like all white here. I know the roof actually comes off of this as well. So a really great representation of that building. Now this is a build by Chris Malloy, right Josh? Yes, and this was actually in the Lego movie. So if you've seen the Lego movie, you might have spotted this build. Uh, it shows up for a couple of seconds there. Uh, some, some really, that's a really impressive build as well. So it's cool that that was in the Lego movie. And moving on down, we've got a few more builds from Chris Malloy, some Ice Planet builds. Here's his Polestar station. It's a big space build here by Chris. And then some more by Chris Malloy. This is a Starfighter telephone game. And so actually, I think the way that works is one builder will build one, send it to the next builder, and then he'll kind of interpret that and, and work on that and uh, then build a, a Starfighter himself. This here is actually the, uh, the Galactic Asteroid Rally Circuit, or the GARC race, as it's uh, known. And this was a large collaboration. A, a ton of builders worked on this. You can see all the, all the little GARCs flying around. They have kind of the racetrack set up with the, the green pieces there. So, really impressive. And now the very interesting part about this layout is that not only was it a collaborative layout, but this is a layout that's composed of creations of people that are not even at the show. Mm -hmm. They're, uh, they mailed their creations in to people that were going to be here, and uh, you know, it was all put together, and it is uh, simply stunning. Yes, yeah, there were a lot that were mailed and things like that, so it's great when you can bring that all together at a convention and display it like this. Now, we'll move back over this direction here. Start right here, actually, this is uh, Bender, so if you're familiar with him from the, the TV show, he's got a, a few different ways he can display him. Here's the few different kinds of heads. His stomach actually opens up there, so you can see that. There's, you can actually store drinks in there and stuff. A, a really awesome build there, the way that was done. I would not... I don't I know, think it does. It, I don't think it does. It opens up, but it's very touchy, yeah. so you want to be careful with it. This here is one side of the Toro Lug display, and this is actually what, what they call the Habitats, and it's different uh, little vignettes made for every uh, collectible minifigure. Series 1 all the way through, I think, the, the current series. So, really cool stuff here as well. All, l nice little Habitats made for everyone. You can, it's hard to take in all the details, but you got the hockey player, the, all, all different, uh, the graduate, the cave woman. The bunny suit guy and any any of these minifigs you can think of, the diver. All now, the not only is it every series of collectible minifigs, but I guess you could say that these are a series of collectible minifigs as well. But it looks like they've done the Simpsons minifigures too. Yes, and yeah. the, let's see, you got the Lego Movie, you've got the Simpsons, and then the ones they released for the Olympics as well. So this was nominated for best group layout well worth it so then you've got uh four different versions of unikitty from the lego movie obviously a lot of people loved unikitty in the lego movie one of a lot of people's favorite characters so you've got the the space kitty the normal unikitty the angry unikitty and seasick unikitty <laughs> really impressive builds there as well all the unikitties you could ever want for sure moving on down here we've got uh, a few large buildings and a little bit of a town layout here as well. Now this is a town layout that's modeled after, I guess it is Paris, mm -hmm. right? I so we so. have the Arc de Triomphe, and <laughs> then you have the Eiffel Tower, 
and uh, some other fantastic buildings. Now, would it make sense to maybe walk down the aisle for a little bit? Yes, we can. We can show this down here. So you can see a lot. Look at this. This is a beautiful building right here. Really captured the details well on that. That Parisian style, you yes. know. That Parisian style. Yeah, there's a reason this is nominated for best large building yes. here. These are done Rightfully very well. So. Rightfully so. Now, it looks like a Cathedral de Notre Dame is trying to sneak in here on the side. <laughs> You can catch that a little bit, mm -hmm. but uh, just more. Definitely, I guess this just looks like the streets of Paris. You know, fantastic, fantastic builds. For sure. So now we'll, we'll move back down this way and keep we going will, this direction. Will. But really impressive build that's layout there. Here's a, a really large building. This is the uh, corporate headquarters in Clayton, Missouri, for Centene. And that's... we're not just reading that off <laughs> the card. We know. We know. We know. We know. We know. If that's how it's pronounced. And then a few more buildings that are based on... Here's the, the St. Louis Central Library, based on real buildings here. This build here was actually built for a uh, Lego animation. So this was an airport that was, was used in that animation. Now look at all that brick just flexing away, flexing away. That, perfectly legal technique, right? No, <laughs> no, not, not really that legal, right? By Lego standards, that is. But it still makes for a very impressive a very build. Very beautiful build. Yes. Got some more builds along here. This is South Pole Station, actually. So you kind of got the white that is the ice and snow. Now, you never really think of using flowers on their... I guess this is... Is this flowers? Okay, so they're all separated from their sprue. My goodness, that must have taken a while. <laughs> but uh, a beautiful, beautiful technique for snow and ice. Uh, just a, a wonderful build. And uh, during the World of Lights, this lit up, and it was just uh, absolutely magnificent. You know, just, uh, just a very nice glow. Oh, for sure, yeah, yeah. And then here we got a little fountain, little uh, Lego Labyrinth game actually there. So you can actually play the, the Lego Labyrinth. And then a Starbucks coffee right there as well. So some cool little builds there. Moving on down here, we've got the uh, Brutus Buckeye mosaic. Another really interesting mosaic. This is more of a traditional one without a lot of 3D. It's more of what you think of traditionally as mosaic. And you Keep looking down here. We've got some some military builds here, tanks and things like that. <laughs> Over here, we're passing the uh, one of the vendors here. This is Eclipse Graphics and Clone Army Customs. This is Eclipse Graphics. You gotta love Eclipse Graphics, yes. right? Yeah. Here is actually, I believe, this is the Brickology. If we stop right here and take a look at some of this, this is the. Uh, Brickology.com display, the Lego certified Lego professional. Lego certified professional. Yes. And the Beth Weiss. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah Beth Weiss. So she, she always has a, a build like this. It's round, uh, massive display every year here at Brickworld. A couple more vendors moving along here. You'll see these throughout Brickworld, usually against each wall, but sometimes in the middle you've got Small Works, the, the Brick spaces, Show. Right? It's where the space is. Yeah. yeah. Over here few more vendors. There's a lot of people selling Lego sets that are uh, retired and things like that, so they find that's the easiest way to do that. Moving along down this side, we actually have an, an interesting robotics company here. This is Vex IQ, so it's uh, somewhat similar to the Lego robotics system, but it's not official Lego, but uh, they do a lot of really cool stuff with robotics and engineering. Things like that. Lego enough to be here. Mm -hmm. Lego enough to be here. Some more of the uh, Brickology builds here. You can see all the interesting shapes that uh, she has put together here. Moving down the, the other side of the Eclipse Graphics Clone Army Customs display. Coming up here. The Eclipse Graphics uh, Empire, you yes. can say. Yeah. <laughs> So many tables. Coming up here is the, the Gamer Lug display, and there's a lot of awesome gaming builds here. You can see so many from a, a whole series of uh, gaming games th throughout the years. So uh, there's an Atari 2600. Uh, here's a massive Bioshock Infinite build. All different. That's nominated for Best Large Building. Really impressive build there. And you've got uh, the all different build Minecraft. Obviously, that's a, that's a popular 
game here, and we'll, t we'll take you down the side here real quick and show you. Here's a, a series of Titanfall rifles done by Nick Jensen. Really detailed, really well done. I was actually able to hold his, his sniper rifle here. That's really awesome. And I believe we interviewed that. him right before the Brickworld started Yes, off, we right? did. So you and can... uh, we, we tested one of his uh, <laughs> rifles to make sure it was okay to bring to the convention, right? Uh, yeah. Yes. Put that, yeah. Just tested some structural stuff. So then here's a few smaller builds, and we can come back this way. We finish off the, the gaming builds there. And then uh, over on this side is actually some really cool, uh, some more uh, Lego ships. Here's the USS Enterprise. The USS Missouri is next to it there. Then you've got uh, the Black Pearl, but this is not the official Lego Black Pearl Lego set. This is a custom one that's very, very detailed, really well done. Actually nominated for Best Sea Vessel. And that is a completely Lego created hull, right? You know, you get you cheat with most Lego sets. <laughs> And you uh, you just use whole pieces, right? But this is 100% Lego. Very awesome. Definitely. Along here we have the, the Hall of Kings, a really impressive architectural building there. This is a mosaic that, unfortunately, it doesn't look like the builders got very far into before uh, Brickworld started here. So uh, that's still a work in progress. I think it's more of one of the... They, they let the public watch them build, right? <laughs> but uh, not too quickly. That would be bad. Yes. So they still have a fair amount left on that. Not sure what their plan is, if they hope to finish that before the end of Brickworld. Uh, some really impressive smaller builds here, like that chocolate lava cake. Really cool. A wedding ring box. The, some of these small builds are easy to pass over, but they still have some, some neat details. Along here we have uh, some, some garden types builds. Some great rock work there with the, the waterfalls. Some more smaller vignettes as well. This is... The rest of this table here is the Nightly News at 9 by uh, David Pickett. A few of the builds he's done on his, his how to builds and things like that. So some really cool stuff there. Definitely. Moving down here we have the, the other side of the Toro Lug display. Uh, right here is something. This is the Up House. You might recognize that with all the balloons on top of it. And then the, the great color scheme there. Look at that sand red. Look at that sand red. Just just a little expensive, right, Josh? Just yes. a little expensive. Still very impressive. And next to that is the beaches, done by uh, Mel Finelli, a really talented builder there at Toro Lug. And then coming along this side here, we've got the uh, Doctor Who builds right there. And then... Amazing Spider-Man 2, this is a Times Square battle from Amazing Spider-Man 2. So they captured a, a lot of interesting details in this one. Very cool stuff there. And you gotta love the Times Square, you know, red steps, right? Oh, sure, All yeah. Rendered it's, it's up. Instantly recognizable from yeah. Times Square. Along here, Toro City. Some cool little builds there. This is the HMCS Trillium, I believe, nominated for Best Sea Vessel. A lot of great detail there, the way they did the, the colors and the hole and everything. Long here, Bastille Day in Paris. A neat micro build. That's kind of a different micro build. You don't see a lot like that. And then Concept Architecture. Here's Solar Windows. So kind of trying out a different type of architecture build. And it's a very interesting technique that he's using, taking the glass pane that normally fits into a Lego, uh, I guess we could say window frame, and he's kind of immobilizing it with the uh, lever hinges uh, base. So so very, very interesting window technique, uh, fantastic build. Yes, it's always cool to see techniques like that that you don't see very often. That's one of the great things about coming to these conventions. Uh, here's another really talented builder, Robert Turner. He has a brickyard station, and then his Villa Amanzi here that uh, has lighting in it, uh, incredible rock work, the trees are done really well, and the, the house itself is just really well done. One of my favorite builds there. Then this one here is something that really catches your eye when you walk up to the display. It's the books by uh, Sean Jensen, and it's books on the table there. That's all brick build. I know it's, it's kind of hard to tell at first. It almost looks real. Very real, yeah. But still all brick built, so... And then we'll take you over the, to the front here real quick. Here's Benny's uh, Explorer spaceship. This is like a UCS version of his, his spaceship. So like Ultimate Collector Series. Woo! <laughs> ultra, ultra big. 
Now, uh, so Benny's spaceship was featured prominently in uh, the Lego movie, but this is like a large-scale version of the very, very classic, classic space uh, Galaxy Explorer. So, a uh, fantastic build. It's interesting that they've uh, been able to use the, uh, what is that? Uh, I'm not going to say keychain like minifig, but, you know, large-scale Lego movie minifig that's sold in the merchandise section as the actual minifig because that's the scale that this has been built at. Very, very cool. Oh, yeah. It gives you a sense of how massive that build is. And then moving along here, we've got another space unikitty there and some, some large space figs as well, showing some more of the classic space. Here's a few spaceships, a uh, few different kinds of builds from some more other uh, great Toralug members. And then here's that bender we showed you earlier. Coming back over here, we'll take you to the the uh, shy lug display. This is the the first side of it here. A whole lot. This is all all different builders from the Chicago area here. Really talented. Uh, some some really awesome builds there. There's a, a grill that's very nice. Then here for the next couple of tables is a a actually a Princess Bride build. I believe is uh, what this is. And you can see all the different vignettes as it goes down here and tells tells the story of the the movie and the really incredible detailed vignettes from that. I think there were there were almost ten builders that worked on that. Here's a, a Frozen build, which is obviously uh, a lot of people love the movie. Famous scene from the movie right here during one of the the songs during that. So I thought that was that was really incredible as well. Moving on down here are some smaller builds. There's a uh, St Stanley the steam shovel. Some Warhammer. This is nominated for best creature actually. Some really interesting detailed kind of bird in the uh, bird's nest there. These are little small little vignettes of Clue actually. So all different You've got like Mrs. Peacock in the library with the rope, Colonel Mustard in the billiard room with the knife, all different clue builds like that. And then this is the uh, Care Paravel right here, built by Paul Ver Vermeesh. Uh, really impressive build. I know there's during the World of Lights that had some really cool lighting in it as well. Then moving on down here, we've got uh, some collaborations by a few different builders. This is Arca. And the Pistrix, and then a few few more ships here as well from some more Chicago builders. So really impressive stuff there. Here's another train layout from the right brick. Uh, obviously, you've got the, the track that goes around. Some more custom buildings. He actually has a, a plane hanging from his, so that's really neat. Coming around here, you can see a few of the custom builds there. Up here is the the Mtron display, and this is uh, a collaborative build as well. It's nominated for best group layout, actually, and all different details here in the Mtron display. It's uh, really impressive the way they they lay this out every year. And now it's been here for several years, but it, it continues to be added to to be expanded upon, so it continues to stay relevant. Definitely, definitely, and we'll keep keep moving on down this direction. See what all we've got here. These builds here are actually packed pretty tightly on this table, so it's, it's hard to tightly. tell them apart. And it looks like these are handwritten cards, right? Yes, so, so these might have been added late or something like that. That occasionally happens. Yeah, this is the Brickworld uh, Brian Bonner, whom, you know, we got his uh, Benny yes. the Spaceman. Yes. Very nice, and you can see, look, the helmet is disjointed. So a nice build by Brian. you got to love it when the coordinator uh, builds something, right? De definitely, that's always great. He's displaying along with the rest of the builders. Here's a Technic Candy Coin Pusher. So a little candy coin game there to go, go along with this year's uh, theme. And then, uh, let's see, here's Homer 3. And then, Matthew, you want to take them along the uh, some of the builds along there? Sure. Now, this is all builds by uh, Tim Liddy. He's a very, very accomplished builder. And uh, he looks like he likes to build in a lot of the fantasy and uh, comic book areas. So here we have a build. This is the Arkham Asylum. And uh, it looks like it might rotate, but we're not going to bother with that right now. But uh, a very, very fantastic build. Lots of uh, depth to this. Now we continue on. Look at this. is a stacked deck. A very, very beautiful minifigure scene arranged. And he's even taken the time to put in all the uh, different uh, details uh, of the ceiling. So just fantastic, fantastic vignettes uh, right here. We continue on looking at uh, more of his builds. These are the Superman versus Flash. Very, very beautiful. 
and and more and more of his builds. Now it looks like here we have a table full of Technic uh, vehicles, uh, relatively awesome Technic vehicles. It looks like it's been nominated for best mechanical. Um, wonderful, wonderful builds. And now we got to go back this way, so let's take a little stroll. We're gonna make sure we we keep moving you down the right this this side so we don't miss anything here. So we show you guys as much as we can here at Brick World. Yeah, and some more buildings along here. This is one under construction. See some some great building going on there. It's always interesting to see kind of the the purposely left half finished builds. Uh, here is a uh, a plane that actually has the the propeller moves and a, a lot of the features move on it. So you get some some really cool details that way. Then this is uh, nominated for best mechanic. Mechanical is the cube by uh, Tyler Kleit, uh, so another great build there as well. Over here is the Great Ball Contraption. Uh, I think this is the biggest one ever in North America, so uh, I believe there were something like 80 modules here all along now, there. Josh, the module we're looking at right now, this is not Lego, right? This is yes, extra. some of this stuff here is not all Lego, but uh, most of it definitely is, so still some, some really impressive stuff all along here. These modules are, are complicated to keep going, to, to, to say the least. All along here, you can see they, they make different ones. They all do different interesting things to, to move the balls along. And I believe we covered this, right, Josh? Yes, we did. Yeah, we got an interview with the, the whole thing running as well. So you'll make sure to check that out on the YouTube page if you want to see what it looks like while it's running. A lot of technique obviously used here. They have the, the soccer balls or basketballs, different depending on what they want running with it. And then keep moving along here, we've got just a few different kinds of builds, uh, a little bit of Technic work. Here's a nice super build. Some QB craft figures, so kind of cute little figures there. Almost in the spirit of uh, cube tubes, right? Yes, yes sim similar to those. Definitely, you can you can see the, how they be similar. And then uh, a few Chinese-themed builds, Kung Fu Panda's Noodle House, uh, all different recognizable Chinese builds as well. Moving back down here, we've got a uh, really impressive military uh, layout here, actually. You get uh, some nice tanks, some, some interesting little buildings, little church. Uh, Lovely European style, though. That yeah, it definitely has like a, a World War II French kind of feel to it. You could see this being a scene like that. They actually have a uh, real military helmet there as well. A couple, couple more military things. Very interesting. <laughs> yes. And we keep, this is the other end of the, the Mtron layout that we showed you earlier. So some really tall buildings, some cool lights on that. All different sorts of uh, details in there with uh, a lot of the red and black going on with the Mtron theme. Here's some more of the, the right brick display, uh, some more of the city layout. You can see a few of his trains. He's got a nice little beach scene here. There's uh, one of the older Lego ships he has included there as well. Some lovely parts dumping going on here, right, Joe? <laughs> yes, you, water technique. That, that technique seems to be more and more popular. Very, like Every uh, year you seem to see more and more As long people. as the Lego stores have one-by-one one rounds and translate <laughs> colors, right, this will be popular. Yes, that's a nice way to get those pieces. Coming along here, we have... The uh, Shylug display, the other other side of it here, again, Chicago Lego, build, Lego builders, all, all different sorts of builds. You can see uh, ships, um, different, uh, here, this is like Bionicle stuff for uh, Hero Factory, right here. Heroes. Maybe, yes. Maybe Hero Factory, right? Nominated for Best Mechanical now, this is, is this. This is a Lamborghini Aventador. Mm -hmm. Now, it's interesting, that, you know, I was looking at this earlier, and you notice that the Lego pieces uh, they kind of make the Lamborghini look matte, doesn't it? So it looks like a matte orange Lamborghini Aventador. A uh, fantastic build, and this is a fully functional uh, looks, right? Uh, we haven't seen it operate, but uh, I can only imagine, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely one of those more impressive uh, builds like that. Sorry. You got a candy shop back there. And then some more. You'll notice a lot of orange and that kind of thing to go along with the, the candy theme this year. Moving on down, there's the Candy Kingdom, nice pink castle, something you don't see very often. And the, the castle builders. Blocktopus, octopus build there. Dave uh, Zandiger. Yes, Dave and John. So, and you've got uh, a few more builds here, some kind of, uh, some characters, some birds. 
different animals and things like that, Snoopy. Here's a series of uh, ships that are based on uh, real ships, like the Exxon Valdez. Ship the... that's, ships that have uh, had the less than fortunate endings, yes, right? Yeah. Yes, that's, I think, what this builder enjoys doing. You can see that the Costa Concordia here is not looking in the best of shape. The uh, Edmund Fitzgerald. For some reason, the Titanic is still looking pretty good, though, right? Yeah, I think yeah? it just hit the iceberg there, so it's, it's it. not, too it. bad. No, not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> Exxon Valdez, the big oil slick coming yeah. off of it there. Killing all the penguins. <laughs> yes. Then a uh, whole line of, of trucks along here. We can keep on... We can move down here real quick, and you can take a look at these trucks. All different... Pretty much any kind of vehicle imaginable here. This builder has it all. All different stuff here. And then keep on moving down here. We'll show you part of the uh, pen lug dis display here, actually. And right here's the uh, train table, so you can move the trains about and things like that. Got a little farmer's planting. Whole lot of train track here, but always the pen lug uh, is always very impressive with their, their train layouts. Keep on moving down here. Red Lion Station. It's this build here and some more impressive custom buildings as well. I really like the way he did the siding on that, overlapping the bricks. Looks looks really nice. And then some more fields with a, a, a few custom buildings. Now this layout is, uh, I'm not going to say one of the largest layouts that Penlug has ever done, but uh, certainly one of the most fantastic. And this is a collaboration with, between not only Penlug, uh, but also the Texas Brick Railroad, right? Yes, yeah. So you had some Texas builders come up as well to Brick World and uh, do, do some awesome builds. And then you've got a whole series of trains here. You can see all the, the massive trains they have going on here. There's actually one running. You come along here with the the rest of the trains. Yeah, definitely one of the one of the biggest layouts here for sure. Over here is a uh, whole series of builds from uh, different now, this different is builders. The Euro Blix, Bru yes, Euro Blix I think display, right? this is the Eurobricks display. Yes, uh -huh. there's a few different builders here. A lot of it from Mark Larson. Uh, build a lot of these builds. Fantastic builds. Really cool and stuff and there. Lots of Fabulon characters, if you noticed, right? Yes, yeah, Fabulon. That's another theme. It seems like in recent years, mm -hmm. people seem to be using more. I think it's like it's in vogue or something. Yeah, they're yeah. making a comeback a little bit. And so you see some interesting Fabulon style uh, builds here. And then if we keep moving on down here. This is actually the beginning of the Virtual Lug display, and Virtual Lug is known for their massive, incredible displays that they have every year at Brickworld, and this year was no letdown. This is the, the Odyssey here. They tell the entire story of the, the Odyssey and what, what all took place there, so so many uh, incredible details here. A lot of, a lot of builds, a, a lot of builders that uh, worked on this from all over the country and all over the world. And if we keep moving around to the, the other side here. We'll walk past here and come, come over here to some of the, the pirate builds that are on this side of the table here. This is a nomination for best sea vis vessel. Really impressive build there. A lot of detail that are on a lot of these ships. So you can see this is the kind of pirate section all along here, some natives with the islands and things. Gotta love plexiglass, right Josh? Yes, yeah, that's an interesting, they've oh, done that the last couple of years though, with the plexiglass, so instead of going kind of the, the one by one studs. I know, yeah, it's an interesting water technique. You know, there might be like a hundred and million one different ways to do water, but uh, this is one and it's very, very well uh, well articulated. Yes, yeah, I know, that's always, people always enjoy seeing that. Here's uh, Brick Tech, so this is a lot of uh, different kinds of um, mecha and things like that. All different details, sizes. You can see from a whole series of builders here. Certainly. Now this is something that is completely non afol related, but this is the Legoland uh, Discovery Center has decided to set up a little store for us this year. So they're retailing all different kinds of Lego sets. Um, a, a very nice service for the public and for us if you need a Lego set. Yes, so that's something interesting. I don't think that was here last year, was it? No, it was not, I don't think. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then right here we have a, a really cool gingerbread house, again going along with the theme of Brickworld, uh, nominated for Best Individual Layout. Very impressive. Uh, 
all different details with the water, the tree. The tree is one of the best details on that. Now, we have interviewed her, and she did mention that uh, the whole layout has been built up on uh, above the base plate itself to allow for uh, different things to be inserted into it. Uh, a very, very, very talented uh, builder and a fantastic, fantastic build. Mm -hmm. Definitely, for sure. So, really cool details throughout that. Here's some more mecha over here. Little layout they've got going on. And then if you keep on moving along here, this is the other side of the virtual lug display. So again, so many details. You've got uh, the, the giants there. So many cool, cool ways that they display this and tell the story. Uh, especially the ships, I've noticed throughout, are really, I think they, tr they tried to make them fairly accurate and have some really neat sails. So I think that worked really well. Keep coming along here. All the ships there. There's the Cyclops uh, with the, the sheep. One of the famous scenes from the Odyssey. Here we have, uh, I believe this is Troy here. So you can see the, the Trojan horse. Now, uh, let's take a moment to appreciate real water. Can we get up close, John? Let's, let's get up close here. Look at that. Real the water. Actual running water in there. <laughs> Now the question is, did that water come from Billund, or is it, so is it purist, or is no, that... No, here at Brookworld, Billund water is very, very special. Yes, so, but, well, we don't, we won't, don't know if that actually came from Billund or not. And then, coming back a, along here, it's actually a couple really impressive buildings right here. This is a, a, a harbor. Yes, you can see that water technique we've been talking about used again and again here. Uh, very, very technical harbor here with uh, all different types of ships, a cool castle wall. So very detailed. This is actually a real fort, Fort Schuyler, if that's, I believe that's how it's pronounced. 1777 this was built, and you can see the different ways the, the landscaping was sloped so that to, to help defend the fort. And then coming back along here is, this is a large build that uh, I'm not sure if the builder is actually finished with this yet. I think it's a uh, spaceship type build, and they actually have, <laughs> the, the creation name is we might be able to build a spaceship, and then they have a minifig sitting there with the frustrated A-fall. So I think there, this is still definitely a work in progress here. Uh, those things Wait. do happen. <laughs> And look at the monorail track, right? Look at the monorail track. Look at that. I guess uh, maybe circular monorail track is cheaper than straight monorail track, right? Who knows? But very, very fantastic build nonetheless. For sure. So keep moving along here. A little bit of the uh, western build there. You get kind of the, the train going through the, the cliff and everything. And then the other side of the Penlog and Texas Brick Railroad layout, uh, nominated for best train here. Some very impressive trains. Uh, different, this is the Princess train. You don't see many trains that look like that. Different kind of build there. There's three kind of large scale Lego blocks actually on top of each other. And then moving back along here, some more impressive trains, the train station. Okay, they kind of build the cliff up back there to have a nice backdrop. The uh, bridge right there, and then here's another nice custom building. Now, one of the things that's worth noting about all this whole layout is just the, the attention to detail and the, the emphasis on terrain. Like, uh, you know, you see this uh, little uh, uh, industrial building right here, but then you see that it has a drop-off, you know, and you have a loading dock and, uh, and a bridge going underneath. So, uh, you know, uh, detail is a very deal and also, uh, you know, a variation in elevation, something that you don't really see in most LEGO layouts. So, definitely. fantastic. Yeah, that's definitely something to keep an eye on on all these train layouts. All of these rolling hills, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of the fields here, and this looks like a winery. Right? Yes, maybe a vineyard going on yeah, there. So, yeah. really incredible layout there. Keep moving along here. Here's the Central Ohio Lego Train Club, yeah, and this is actually a really interesting. Great ball contraption. It doesn't even look like it at first, but there are the balls move along the waves there, and then all around through the building, down the tree, and back into the waves. So. Uh, very, very detailed. They didn't just have the modules, they actually built around it and made some, some interesting buildings with it. Nominated for Best Mechanical as well. A few interesting uh, starfighters here. 
kind of that's a, a Q wing and R wing. So these I know sometimes contests are held to build like letter starfighters, alphabet fighters, things like that. The H wing and the the W wings. You can see how those look like letters there. Uh, here, Greater Florida Lego Users Group uh, has some some trains here this year. A couple nominations for best train. Now a lot of these were built by uh, Robin Warner, a fantastic, uh, very very talented train builder. Uh, I think it's worth appreciating these uh, Amtrak passenger coaches in particular. Let's take a moment to look at this. Yeah, I mean, so many incredible trains here just in a row, so it's, it's hard to notice them, but if you point out the details, it's really neat. Certainly. Now, these are standard-issue Amtrak uh, passenger cars, and I believe there's something special about the color scheme on these in particular, but just take a moment to appreciate the snot techniques. Look at the studs. So this is all facing out. You have uh, a vertical section here, and uh, this is all using these renewed slopes, but, uh, you know, they're very long, long passenger coaches, and this is exactly what you would see, you know, taking a train from, say, uh, New York to Washington, D.C., but uh, beautifully, beautifully rendered, certainly something that uh, is uh, the envy of train builders everywhere. Just uh, just wonderful, wonderful builds. I cannot praise these enough. Oh, yeah, and I, I think we mentioned this last year as well, but for, for train builders and train layouts, Brickworld is really one of the, the premier conventions for that. So many incredible train builders come here and display. Coming over here, we have a really great-looking light castle. You can see the builder in the background there, actually, and Really impressive the way he's incorporated the lights into the build there. All different flashing colors and things. As you can imagine, during World of Lights, this build was one of the most noticeable. Very impressive. Moving down here, you see that the army's attacking it. Then an older town layout here with a few, few of the town buildings. Uh, some large spaceship, old classic space builds here as well. So always cool to see those, some of those older sets. Some smaller builds here, uh, different stuff like Blacktron. Uh, you can see the Blacktron moon base, it's a Spacehawk Blacktron. Here's a giant Brickworld badge, that's cool. In the Brickworld colors there. Nice little train nominated for best train. And then here's a, one of my, uh, another one of my favorites here at Brickworld is this uh, German U-boat and a really fascinating story behind this, the way it was it was actually rescuing uh, people that from a, a boat that it had sunk and then was attacked by uh, the American U.S. Forces, yes, yeah. American forces, so it then had to abandon those people and then could not end up saving them, unfortunately, because there was a communication breakdown there, so they didn't know the they were... confusion <laughs> of war. <laughs> yes, uh. so sadly they, they couldn't end up saving them, but it's a fascinating story there, an awesome build. Uh, Lots the, of heart stumping. You gotta love heart yes. <laughs> And then the uh, the plane is actually nominated for best airship as well. So a uh, whole lots of cool, interesting details here. Moving along here, we have some some micro stuff, an airport, uh, harbor there, a little bit of friends, and here's a whole set of interesting buildings. Now I believe that these are unregistered, but uh, they are wonderful, wonderful builds nonetheless. And if you take a moment to appreciate this build uh, right here in the center on the top row, uh, look at the the little ribbon on the top. This is all uh, these are all cheese slopes, and they've been immobilized. Uh, so it kind of gives the uh, effect of what would it be like, kind of a a granite uh, mosaic sure. or, or something of the yeah. type, like a terracotta, uh, you know, uh, I guess you could say building cornice, but uh, but beautiful, beautiful builds. And I believe these are all modeled after uh, buildings that uh, actually do exist in a uh, small town in Michigan. But uh, wonderful, wonderful builds. Uh, fantastic color scheme. Uh, very, very well executed. Yeah, it's the small details like that that really make these types of buildings. Because if you aren't careful, they can just become kind of giant walls. And so it's, it's the little details like that that make them really impressive. Here's the I Love New York, uh, Lego Users Group of New York here. Brought a few trains and gas station, a few small builds. Some uh, Star Wars display. And then moving on down here, we've got an uh, exosuit right there. Very impressive little exosuit. Next to the, the Star Hopper. 
And then right here is the uh, nominated for best layout, best individual layout. This is the Nova station. And there's a ton of detail to take in here. The base is really well done. Snot. You see studs yes. going in every direction. I think that's the first thing I see when I see this creation. You see, you look at the base. You have, you know, this is a flat piece. And then uh, it's sitting on top of uh, just, just fantastically uh, executed. Mm -hmm. Very well done. You see the little landing spots for the ships up there as well. And then here we actually have an interesting, this is the mini Lego Con. And so this is uh, something that started, I think, a, a couple of years ago that's, uh, that's done at a few different conventions. And this is actually a mini version of a uh, Lego convention. So it's, it's kind of like that art imitating, art imitating yes. life thing, right? <laughs> yeah. So this is like uh, this is us, you know, in Lego form, right? Mm -hmm. Definitely. So you can see a uh, mini version of the Lego convention there, mini versions of the builds that were there. And then uh, a mini mini scale versions of the a lot of the public as well. Mini land. <laughs> Moving along here, we've got a few more military style builds, some futuristic. Here's some some Star Wars. Then uh, some more city buildings here. We've got a, a hair salon, drugstore, a pawn shop, a bookstore, all different custom. That's all custom there, and I, I really like the way they fit those together. So you can see kind of the, the drug stores on top of the salon. Really well done. Get uh, some more roads and cliff work there. Big ugly rock pieces, large <laughs> ugly rock pieces, lerps, burps, right? Yeah. Yes. Here's uh, nominated for best individual layout. This is the King's Forest Castle. Uh, another really, really incredible castle build. Not the biggest here, but still a lot of detail in it and really well done. And it's been nominated for best individual layout. But look at also, we got to look at Brick Nerd Brick. Yes. Yeah, uh, shout out to Brick Nerd. Very, <laughs> very cool. Awesome. Moving on down here, we come to uh, some of Lee Jones' builds. And one that uh, one might be my, my favorite build here. Uh, being a, a big uh, fan of the Thermopylae battle. This is his 300 build, and you can see all of the Spartans and all of the Persians there fighting, and this is this is based on the movie 300, so the historical accuracy may not be 100% perfect, but uh, still very impressive. He's got a 300 mosaic actually down here under it. Very, very cool, impressive rock work. Then coming around here, we have Pillar of Autumn, which is his massive spaceship along here. Now, one thing to take into account is the, the alteration of both the old and new gray. So it, it's kind of used to fantastic effect because it just makes it look like a, a steel surface that's been, uh, I guess, mutilated by, uh, you know, the, the vastness of space, right? Mm -hmm. Definitely. So, yeah, the, the way he combines the colors makes it look really good. Large. That's one of, one of the biggest spaceships here. Got some more uh, castle style builds here, a nice mix of different builds, some mecha, all different, nominated for best spacecraft here, this space build. Yeah, and that's a, a cuckoo clock. Very You don't see many of those style of builds at, around here. And then here you've got some, some mixels, obviously those are rising in popularity. Um, people are really enjoying building with those. Certainly. Now, this is a uh, fantastic fire station and beautiful, beautiful fire engines. But uh, I think it's worth noting that this fire station is mostly studs up, right? Yes. Uh, there, you know, not too much crazy snot going on here, but it is a beautiful, beautiful fire station nonetheless. You know, it's very well carried out and it looks like it's modeling a real life fire station. And uh, just judging by the photo, you know, a, a pretty accurate rendition. So kudos to the builder for uh, putting this together. Definitely, yeah, great job to that. I believe the, the Topeka, Kansas is where the, the one that they modeled it off of is. So moving along here, another military build. And then along here we've got, uh, this is like a few Star Wars sets, some different Star Wars builds. Here's something very interesting. This is... Twinkie. <laughs> Twinkie being held by a Lego tree. <laughs> and uh, is, that a, is that a set? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't think that is a that set. That might be a set, but maybe but not. But maybe not. I could but be who wrong. Really knows? What's it's, the, it's, what's it's a, a tw Twinky there, so you know that's really all that we should be focusing on. Pick a brick cups, very <laughs> yeah. interesting. Yeah, pick a brick to hold up your sets. You know, you know hold it up, make it look like it's in the air. Uh, use a pick a brick cup. Still purist. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
This is Look, a, it's minifigures on base plates. <laughs> All right, next build. Melee with the Arkham Asylum set. Uh, wow, this is some really incredible stuff here. I think some of this was here last year, if I remember some of I these. I think this was here last year, and I'm not sure if it's been altered since last year, but uh, a wonderful baseball stadium, and it's a completely circular build, but of course you know that uh, Lego is not a round uh, a building brick, so you have to kind of go a little bit crazy, so he's used, it looks like it might be a hinge technique or otherwise to generate the circular form, but uh, in any case, he does have a uh, very, very beautiful dome that does go on this, uh, you know, creation but uh, you know the complete interior it looks like it could be filled with minifigures if you wanted it to be um, absolutely superb for sure yeah the, the way he does all these builds you can see uh, some more here from the, the same builder I believe yeah and this is uh, Ferris wheel and moving along here the same builder has these really well done uh, different kinds of buildings all the all different a shades of blue. Style, yes. though, doesn't he? It, yeah, you it can is. spot this from a million ways. <laughs> this is him. This mm -hmm. is it. This is it. Definitely very well done. Then we'll come back this way and hit some of the, hit some of these architecture builds. This is a, a a theme that's here. I've been here for several years. There's always someone who brings a lot of really well done architecture builds based on you know real life buildings. You've got the Chicago Board of Trade building, the Water Tower Place, Chicago. A lot of these are from Chicago. Here at Brick World, the Wrigley Building, and then this is actually nominated for his Oriental Pearl Tower in Shanghai, China, is nominated for Best uh, Small Building, so that's really awesome. All all different sorts from all over the world: the CN Tower in Toronto, uh, World Trade Financial Tower Center, in New York City, the complete uh, World Trade Center site. Yes. I suppose you could say this is the the original. Wor World Trade Center site. Very impressive there. Empire State Building, Chrysler Building, obviously some of the more famous landmarks. And then you also have, this is the, what, Central Station with the uh, old Pan Am building in the background. Now the look at the technique that he's using on the side of the Pan Am building. This is the, um, what is it, one by two grill slope. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's a technique you can use to kind of stagger it and immobilize, uh, you know, the part to, to get like a flat uh, edge. And so he views that to great effect here to, to kind of uh, very accurately render the, the side of the building. For sure, yeah. The, cool. the techniques used throughout these are always very interesting Absolutely to see. Absolutely ridiculous. And when he was setting that up, we were able to kind of uh, go by and look at and see what the internal buildings look like. And it's just, just absolutely amazing snot going on. Just a fantastic build. For sure. And back here we have actually the uh, Pentagon. So uh, you guys see the American flag there. This is instantly recognizable as the Pentagon. And uh, really impressive. I, lo I love the colors he used on this as well. I think the colors blend really nicely for it to make a, an impressive build. Definitely. Well, you have sand green, dark red, you know, yeah. and, and all the rare stuff, right? For sure. And uh, again, the same builder along here with some, some more. Definitely you can see his style coming in here. And uh, that tall tower in the back there is really neat. Rare colors, big buildings. It's a winning combination, mm -hmm. I'd say. And some great, great architecture uses. Here's... Uh, Nominated for Best Youth Creation. This is the Siege here, so this is a medieval build. Got a nice little bit of the village, nice castle, a good blend there. A nice terrain, and it looks like they've provided a very nice uh, border along the side of the mm -hmm. creation. I, I think that does provide a, a finite edge, you know, it makes it, uh, it, makes it end, which is kind of nice, right? For sure, yeah, definitely, that always looks better. So uh, it's another medieval, this is the Feudal Village. Kind of uh, sparse on the minifigs. I think they were going for a lot of the buildings there, though. And then some uh, Star Wars here. This is actually kind of all different kinds of small Star Wars builds going after each other. Lego Minecraft. Minecraft is always you know popular here so with I the Lego Minecraft. fans. Yeah. Ooh. Here's uh, McDonald's. Fun fact, they actually have here one in eight American workers have been employed by McDonald's at some point. Interesting fact there. Everybody works at McDonald's in America. <laughs> at some point, it seems like it. <laughs> and uh, moving along here, we've got a uh, few different, uh, I think, Harry Potter themed builds. All along here. It looks like this is one best, best youth creation for this Oh, movie, yes. Right? Okay. So there's the. 
best youth creation. Very impressive build. Though. I love the the castle in the background Depicting and then the Hogwarts the arrival of the Dermshire mm-hmm. ship, right? So will this be book four? Yeah. I'm not sure, but uh, but wonderful, wonderful build. Oh, gotta love part stumping, yeah, yeah. Definitely. I think we're seeing some <laughs> common themes here, if you have I noticed. think we might be. Here's a Gotham Cathedral, really well done. Uh, I love the, the detail on the outside and the inside. He's got the, the pews. You can look in and see Batman in there. In there. Now, Josh, do you think it's a problem that we're just patronizing a lot of these builds? Should we, should we point some builds out as, like, you know, ah, that's, that's, that's crappy, that's not good, that's the worthless? I don't think that's in the Lego spirit, though, is it? Not really. you got to lift everybody good. up, not take them down, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah so... Yeah. We aren't here to point out everything bad, but uh, these are not bad at all, really. These are these done are by Tyler Hollowell. Uh, these these uh, Lego busts here of all different characters. So impressive with these. I really enjoyed looking at these. Moving along here, a lot of this is done by Virtual Lug members. Dave Coletta's uh, frog, very, very famous yes. frog, displayed at the Victorian Albert Museum in London, right? Yeah. For sure. And then... Moving along here, we've got some more by Dave Coletta. Here's actually Dave Coletta's uh, building area. This is kind of his studio there. You can see uh, he actually built him and his wife, I believe, over there in the studio. So that's a really fascinating build. I love how he did that. Some cool details. Uh, Moving along here, we've got a build here at the end. This is actually by Brian Bonahum, who we mentioned earlier is the coordinator here at Brickworld. The big guy. Yes, a little slice of heaven homer style so you've got another simpsons build here but uh interesting grass yes i was just going to point that out actually yeah the way he did the grass is is that all cheese slopes Cheese slopes just kind of staggered around and so it kind of produces a uh, it looks like a mowed lawn you know more than a diagonal pattern right definitely so i think that's a great technique as well moving on down here we've got some more creations by variety of builders uh, a lot of great space builds nominated for best spacecraft right here. Interstellar carrier vessel. Uh, this had some cool lights on it during the World of Lights. It was a really impressive build. Uh, some more pink. You're seeing more and more pink castle this year. It seems like so. I think that's going to be friends, more popular. Right? Yeah, you know, friends, right? Parts are available. Why not build with it? <laughs> sure thing. And then nominated for best airship right here is uh, really impressive. The SS Floriana, I believe, it's a flying elven ship. So, really cool. The the sails are what stand out there. Those are really impressive the way they did those. And then down here we got a self-portrait mosaic. There, it's interesting. You don't see a lot of those. Candy color sorter. This is actually really fascinating. They sort the you can put like M and M's or certain kinds of candy and sort it by color: orange, yellow, blue, gray. Going along with the theme of Brickworld again this year. Some smaller builds along here. Interesting shapes and the way they've done that. Here's a micro scale role playing game. So they've got kind of an Egyptian feel going on. Mobile Frame Zero. So this is actually a whole series of uh, mecha and little things like that. that All different kinds of uh, gaming. Microscale science fiction armies and brick hammer armies. So you can see that this is a lot of the role playing type of stuff here. Some some interesting things. This is kind of an, a smaller area of the Lego community. Not a whole lot of builders working on this type sure, of stuff. And it's nice that they used a green tablecloth to kind of serve as, I guess, a playing surface almost. Yeah, for them, yeah. You know? So it works out well. Haunted Forest. I love these trees. Really, really great job on the trees. Lots of slopes. <laughs> Lots of slopes. For sure. I guess that's a combination of what, brown and green slopes to kind of yeah, get that. Yeah, make a whole tree, you know. Mm-hmm. It looks like we're getting into Now, some this volcano yeah. build, before, we, I wanted to make sure we hit this. Look at that, how they did that there. It's got different yeah, colors. Yeah, same techniques as the trees. So yeah, similar, builder, similar. Right? Yeah. Just kind of use what you learned there and do it over mm-hmm. there. That's very but cool. Now it looks like we're at some mind games, right? Yes, I think that's what these are. So you can see, looking at them, these are definitely odd, odd looking. Right? Yeah, visual illusions. And uh, they have some real life versions of what they were trying to go for here. It's so hard so. to say if this would come across on the camera, but uh, <laughs> very, very, uh, I, I, a little bit headache inducing, I guess you could say, uh, to be here right now and looking at them. <laughs> Don't stare at them too Don't long. Stare at them too long. Too long. Here, this is nominated for best airship. Actually, a really impressive build here. Uh, the gunship. This is actually done by a guy who makes custom stickers. So he did all the the stickers on there custom himself. And then he actually, the way he displays that is interesting. He has a mirror under there because he said the the bottom is really detailed and he wanted people to be able to see that. So you don't see many of that type of display. 
moving along here is some more of his stuff that he's done with the, the custom stickers some large mecha and then this is done by uh, Andy Baumgart and he has actually you might notice there a little sandwich man build which was actually for a contest we did last year shout out sandwich man build contest yes. 2013 <laughs> definitely so he submitted that there and you can see a lot of his, his awesome military models as well and then this is his friends versus Fabulan. So he builds like the the Bonnie Bunnies tactical produce card and funny builds like that with the Fabulan the, the uh, figures throughout the years that he's used. Over here, I think we're about finishing up here. This is a uh, modern monument, and you can see a lot of what might be called a rainbow style build. It's a here. rainbow warrior, but yes. in the best sense. <laughs> yeah, they do it in a, a, an interesting way here. It's definitely still a really awesome build, the way they built this all up with the, the towers and everything. So really fascinating. And then take you across the front here to finish it up. This is some more uh, mecha, kind of bionicle style builds here. Small and large, nice mix of all these here. And then over here there's actually still one more set of tables with some cool builds we wanted to show you. This is actually right here is a UFO space style builds and during the world of lights they have this all lit up really nice so there's some black light stuff in there makes that look really impressive. Here's a gun rack in case you ever happen to need some weapons while you're a brick world you can come over and grab one off the Just gun rack. Get off. Get, get out where you need to get done, done, <laughs> just do it, this is the guns. But you very do. detailed here, you can see an immense amount of detail they put and into these. It's stacked plate instead of brick, so I think that does contribute to the accuracy that you would want, because it does look like wood grain, doesn't it, with stacked plate? But very, very talented uh, builder here. Oh yeah, definitely, I think that I understand the detail that the plates can bring. Uh, this is kind of a, a medieval style build here, you've got castles at each end, and large black and red castle there mixing bionicle figures different types of things now this is a, i love this build here as the uh floating rock kind of build with the, the, the water, water coming i think it looks like the waterfall holds it up right josh mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I, th I think it does so that's really interesting the way they did that moving along here got some more of those floating rocks kind of uh Buried plane. An Antarctic plane crash scene, I guess you could say, right? Mm hmm. Very impressive there as well. World War II builds. You got some medieval, very nice trebuchet. Uh, cyborg piranha battle right there. So, all different interesting stuff along here. And then, final build here is a church. So, a small little church there. And I think that will about finish it out here. Is there some for, stuff up there, Josh? Let's see. Oh, there is actually, yeah, there's a series of mosaics over here that we wanted to show you. This is actually, I think, from the mosaic building competition that they have here at Brickworld every year. Yes, right here. So. This is all the, they, they have a, it's not really a competition, I guess it'd be more of a workshop. Yeah, is like what a it, mosaic building yeah. workshop. Yeah. And so you, people can learn how to do mosaic techniques, and obviously like we showed you, there's so many different ways to do it. So I they, suppose these are the better results of this? Yes, I think so. Yet? So, But there's some really impressive ones here. Uh, you can see the logos, the different characters, Spongebob and things like that. Uh, Minecraft there. So... Definitely some cool stuff that comes from these workshops. There's a lot of awesome workshops that go on throughout Brickworld, but uh, this is one of the cooler ones for sure. Certainly. And uh, does that wrap it up, Josh? I think that might. So, so if I... you're still awake, I don't know if we still are. We <laughs> might still be awake. Uh, that was pretty awesome. And yes. this is Brickworld 2014, you know. We hope you enjoyed your, your in-depth look here at oh, Brickworld, yeah. and we tried to show you as many of the creations as we could. So uh, a lot of awesome stuff here, and a lot of really cool builders here as well, displaying a lot of cool builds. So we appreciate you guys watching. Definitely.